today, I'm going to show you how to create acromantula venom. The things you will need to create our acromantula venom is one glass bottle with a cork, and I chose to go with a smaller bottle that would be able to fit into a pocket easily, like the kind that Slughorn carries around. We will need some styling gel, and I like the excess brand that I can get at the Dollar Tree. It is an alcohol-free gel, and it's nice and thick, and it holds its suspension qualities for years to come. We will need some metallic acrylic paint, and I am using Pearl White by Folk Art. Then we will need a plastic piping bag or a Ziploc bag that we can snip the corner off of. We will need a cooking skewer. And finally, our label printed on sticker paper, and the link for this is in the description down below. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is take my plastic piping bag, and I'm going to add a little bit of gel into the bottom, and then our white paint, and I'm going to mix it up. Now that I have my paint mixed up, I'm going to go ahead and uncork my bottle. And I am going to just snip the corner of my bag here. And I'm going to squeeze just a little bit of this into the bottom of the bottle. And I think that's good. And now I'm going to take some of my gel and I am just going to top the bottle off. Okay, and I want my bottle to be full, but not all the way full. So now when we get to this point, we're going to take our cooking skewer, and I am just going to go in and start to pull up on some of the milky white to kind of incorporate that in. And you can swirl a little bit too. We just want to kind of get a little bit of this milkiness all the way through, but I still want it to be see-through as well. And the thing I love about this gel is that it will hold whatever we do with this paint. So at this point, I'm going to wipe the top off, and then I'm going to tap this down. And then I'm going to cork this up. And as you can see, we got a really great milky quality to our venom. Now that we have our paint in our bottle and it's all mixed with our gel, we're going to go ahead and take our label. And again, I printed this on sticker paper like I always do. And I went around the outside edge with a matching marker. And you'll notice that the outside edge is not perfect. And I went with my scissors and just kind of made some little divots and things. I wanted this to look imperfect. Like it was a label that Slughorn just grabbed out that was blank. And he scribbled on it whatever the um, potion or ingredient was. And in this case, it's Aragog's Venom. So um, you can kind of see that there's like a little line here like it might be a fold I'm actually going to go ahead and fold my label there so that when I stick it on it may retain some of that little bit of a crease in there and just kind of give it a little bit more of an aged worn look again I want this to look like something that Slughorn had printed and then he just went 
to his um, desk or whatever and maybe pulled it out and wrote on it what it was. So then that way it would be easier for him to be able to identify what the ingredient or potion was. And now we're going to go ahead and peel the backing paper off. And I'm actually going to place the label this direction this time because I feel like Slughorn may have wanted to just quickly see that it was Acromantula Venom and not necessarily have to go all the way around the bottle. You can stick yours on however you may like, um, but I wanted something that was a little different and I feel like it would be something that Slughorn would do. If you notice his bottles, a lot of times the labels are not on perfectly and... I kind of like that quality about it. So again, I'm trying to keep some of that crease that we placed in there. And then I'm just going to rub this down. And there you have it. Our Acromantula Venom collected from Aragog on April 21st, 1997. And we have this really great see-through milky quality to our Venom bottle. This will make a great addition to our potion and prop collection of making along the way. So if you guys like this video, give me the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so, and we will catch you guys later. Thanks so much.